morning all students so here i am again for the same chapter that we are dealing with today and uh, today we will begin the second part of the chapter a truly beautiful mind and uh, as we know that it is all about the word and steel yesterday we talked a lot about the word and steel and today we will go a little bit more further and try to know about the chapter okay so here we are so this is paragraph number 7 now we are going to begin from paragraph number 7 He also felt a special interest in a fellow student, Malaba Marek. Yesterday I was saying, yesterday I was just explaining that Einstein was not such a person who was only interested in studies. It is true that he was at most genius, and it is also true that this particular fellow has done a lot of for. the science even then it doesn't mean that he was only devoted to the studies he does not have any personal life it was not so einstein was enjoying life he was a good photographer he was a violinist he was a canoeist he was also a very good speaker so apart from all these things there is also one more phase and this phase is there in everyone's life so he has a special interest in a fellow student melaba mai this is also a phase of einstein life albert einstein was having a very deep interest in one of his fellow and the name is melaba mai whom he found to be a clever creature actually you know we prefer those with whom our personality match i still thought that melaba was also a very good intelligent and clever that's why he attracted towards him her and he thought that he she was a clever creature means a clever being this young sir had come to switzerland because the university in zurich was one of the few in europe where women could get degrees now the question is why that particular fellow melba merrick was there in was there with albert einstein she was there with albert einstein because this university is the only university where a female can get degree we know that in past a lot of discrimination was there and in those discrimination education was also one of the most prevalent like today you all are studying in co-ed education both boys and girls are there but previously what happened previously uh women females they did not have the right to educate maybe that's why most of the university were not offering degrees for the females but that big but that university in zurich was the only one which offers the same so that is why this sir sir means melba merik belongs to serbia that young girl from serbia has come to switzerland to get degree okay and that and then she came in contact with albert einstein so einstein saw in her an ally against the philensteins philensteins means what is written a word used to disapproving to talk people who do not like art literature or music means the people who do not like art culture music literature especially this happens with science student they has this feeling and this feeling is not justified in my point of view you should have the knowledge of all the things speaking is also an art we should 
learn to become a mature, proper, perfect personality. So, actually, Mirava was a fellow who also does not like art, literature, or music. This similarity between Albert Einstein and Malaba attracted Einstein towards Malaba. Okay. Next, the couple fell in love, and finally, they fell in love. Letter survived in which they put their affection into words. There are also letters, letters, love letters. There are also letters which are still surviving, and in those letters, they exchanges, they exchanged their thoughts, their feelings towards each other. So letters survive in which they put their affection into words mixing science with tenderness. So just as they both belong to science field, they used to put scientific words in their letters too, in their relation too. Okay, next wrote Einstein, how happy and proud I shall be when we both have brought out our work on relativity to a victorious conclusion. Now Einstein in the past expressing a desire, a probability that, has, that is going to be fulfilled in near future in the past. Einstein was writing this particular line to Milava in a letter and he is expecting after getting the success on this particular theory of relativity how happy we both will a scientific conversation was there between Einstein and Milava now in 1900 at the age of 21 Albert Einstein was a university graduate and unemployed. So thus we come to know that Einstein has completed his graduation in 1900 and at that time Einstein was 21 years old. But even then he was unemployed. He worked as a teaching assistant gave private lessons and finally secured a job in 1902 as a technical expert in the patent office in Bonn. So thus we come to know about the professions that he opted. First of all, he opted the profession of teaching assistant. He was a teaching assistant. Then after he started giving private lessons to the students, and finally, he secured a job as a technical expert in patent office. Well, in Bern. In Bern, he secured a job as a technical supporter. While he was supposed to be assessing other people's inventions, so there his work was to assess others' inventions. There his work was to just see others invention. He was busy with his own ideas. As Einstein was having his own way, his own love, his own desire, his own craziness for science. Even then he was there in job. He was busy with his own ideas about physics. In secret, he was developing his ideas and he is sad to have jokingly. Einstein was actually developing his own ideas in secret and he is sad to have jokingly called his next draw at the birth the Bureau of the Theoretical Physics. So, there he was busy, a lot busy, and he spent his time 
with his own thoughts, with his own mentality, with his own ideas, and those ideas were directly related to his physics. He was developing his own ideas, and very secretly he is putting his thoughts into paper, and those paper were kept in that bureau. Bureau means sophisticated table. Stylish table. And in that table he put his ideas and that's why he called that bureau as the bureau of theoretical physics. Okay? Right? Now, one of the famous paper of 1905 was Einstein's special theory of relativity. As we know that Einstein has given a lot of to this to this world. And in all these things, theory of relativity was also one. One of his famous paper of 1905 was Einstein's special theory of relativity. The most famous paper, one of the most famous paper. According to the which time and distance are not absolute. They are not absolute at all. Indeed, two perfectly accurate clocks will not continue to the same time if they come together again after a journey if one of them has been moving very fast relatively to the other. So this is some more related to science, to physics. As per Einstein, if doesn't matter, in fact, two perfectly accurate clocks will not continue to the same time. They will not continue to the same time if they come together after again after a journey if they come together after a journey and if one of them has been moving very fast relative to the other if one is moving very fast only then i hope you understand right so from this follow the world's most famous formula which describes the relationship between mass and energy and from here the most famous formula about mass, about energy has been derived. And what was the formula? E is equal to mc square. E is equal to mc square is a mathematical equation where E stands for energy, m for mass and c for the speed of light in a vacuum. Okay. So while Einstein was solving the most difficult problems in physics, his private life was unraveling. There is two aspects. Just try to understand the thing. Suppose you are very familiar with someone and if you stop giving time to that particular person with a period of after a certain period of time everything will be vanished between you and that particular person like a past friend so as einstein was too much devoted to his work he was busy with his work with his experiment a lot of time he was giving it has a direct effect on his personal life and that is why his personal life was Unraveling means it's starting to fail. Why? The reason I explained. So while Einstein was solving the most difficult problems in physics, his private life was unraveling. Albert had wanted to marry Mirva right after finishing his studies. As boys are very passionate. Just after completing his study, Albert Einstein wanted to marry Melba Merrick, but his mother was against it. There is a query, there is a surprise. The mother of Einstein was not ready that he should go to marry with Melba Merrick. Why the reason we will come to know? She thought Melba, who was three years older than her son. This is the main point. Malava was three years older than Albert Einstein. 
her mother thought that this particular girl is three years older than her child and she was too old for him and that's why she cannot be a good match for Albert Einstein and this is why she was not in favor that Einstein should go to marry with Melva Marek. Okay. She was also bothered by Melva's intelligence. Secondly, there were two reasons. The one is she was older and the another one is she was also very intelligent like Albert Einstein. So she was also very intelligent and her mother was very much puzzled. She used to say she is a book like you. Like you are too much devoted to books. For you book, books are each and everything. Similarly that girl Malama, she is also just like a book. Einstein put the wedding call and when her mother objected a lot, Einstein had to go away his mother and that's why he postponed his wedding. Okay. The pair finally married in January 1903 but even then finally they married in the year 1903 and had two sons. They were also having two sons. But a few years later, the marriage faltered. As I told you earlier, they, and as was expected by the mother of Albert Einstein, that they both are too much devoted to books, too much intelligent. They cannot fulfill each other's desire. So that is why the finally there are some problems which occurred in their married, happy married life. Melaba meanwhile was losing her intellectual ambition and becoming an unhappy housewife. Dear's frustration is the biggest reason for the downfall of intelligence. If you are frustrated, doesn't matter what the reason is. I guarantee you are not going to get anything. So that's why frustration should not be there. As Melba became a housewife, she married and due to her marriage, she was losing her intellect, her intelligence, her knowledge, her command, her desire and that's why she was becoming a lot of things, frustrated. After years of constant fighting, so this resulted in constant fighting because Melba was not happy and as she was not happy, this resulted in irritation and that irritation gives birth to fighting. They start to fight, to quarrel, to, to argue with each other and due to this, all this, in 1919, after a constant, a continuous fight, argument, the couple finally divorced in 1990. Means in 1903 they married, and in 1919, after a lot of argument, lot of misunderstanding, the couple finally divorced. But Einstein married his cousin Elsa the same year. Even then, even after all these things, Einstein married his cousin. And the name of his second wife is Elsa. And basically Elsa was his cousin. So student, this is the part 2 of the chapter A Truly Beautiful Mind. We will soon come with the last and final video of this chapter. Till then, stay inside, stay home, stay safe, keep learning, keep watching and stay tuned with us. Thank you.